You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you a new Easy Bake Oven. You probably thought, nah, they're done with those, but we are not. Remember, I'm still missing that 1970s oven. I have not found it yet. And if you don't want to hear me go through this whole talk right now, then look in the description. You will see a link to different timestamps. So you can go right to the baking or whatever you want to see. But for those of you that want to hear, then stick with me here. Because this oven itself, we've done before, but not the Disney Princess Edition. There's two or three uh, branded ovens that we have to show you. But we didn't put them in the original series because uh, we were kind of waiting for some special stuff to add with them. And we finally got it for this oven. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me turn the box around. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a surprise. Let's see. So right here, this one does, it does have the warming tray on the top. But if you look at the picture here, this oven doesn't have any Disney princess on it. So I'm not sure exactly where and what the oven will have on it that says Disney princess. Now the other side of the oven they will show it to you again here without any branding of any sort on there see no disney princess on the oven so i'm not really sure but look at all the cool things like all the easy bakes you can bake in the oven but i've got a very special set which i'll show you after we take a look at the oven so let's do that next all right i am back but it's not the front of the oven you'll see it it's really cool the way they did it I'm going to show you the back of the oven. Why not? This is what I have to go through usually pretty much every oven I get. The first thing I do is I take the back off. Even if there is a light bulb in there, I need to see what it is and make sure I have the right bulb. And then sometimes you find things in the ovens. I've found change and little utensils and pieces of old baked products. So it's all part of getting the oven ready. So I think this video is going to be... A lot more than you bargained for today because I still have to clean this oven and I want to do that for you too. I'll show you what I do there. All right, so now the back of the oven is open. There's not much to the inside of an Easy Bake oven, really. This is held in by two screws and then a couple screws for this piece and that's it. So here's what this looks like. So right now there is a 100 watt bulb in there. So more than likely, I'm going to test it for you right now. Be prepared, it's gonna be bright. Not sure if you'll see it. Ooh, yes you will, look how bright that is. And it's gonna give off heat, so it's a good bulb. Now normally, they don't have the right bulb in there, so I would switch it out. I found these the other day. They're actual oven bulbs for your Hasbro Easy Bake Oven. Let's see, was there a year on it? No year that I see, let's take a look at one. So it looks very much like the bulb that's in there now, except this one's more of a white, soft white. Now normally you don't use a soft white bulb, even though it's 100 watts, so that's coming out. So I'll put in one of these new bulbs. Okay, let's plug that one in, we'll test it. Okay, very nice. So now we know the bulb is good, the inside of the oven looks clean, so we're good there. There's no extra debris or anything we need to worry about, so I'll put this back on now. And what I'll do is when I come back, I'll show you the front. I'm just going to tighten up all the screws, and I'll be right back. Alright, so the next step after I do the bulb on an oven like this is I always wipe it down and clean it. There's little black scuff marks on it, and this one has some stuff on it. So sometimes I use this, green works, and I'll just spray it on a towel and then give the whole thing a nice cleaning. And this happens with every single oven, usually inside and out if it needs it on the inside. Any parts need to be cleaned. So let's see if that black, I don't know if you can see that black scuff mark. Okay, so that does not want to come off. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so it's in the plastic just a little. There's some white stuff here. So now normally I would not spray right onto the decal because that will affect it. I'll spray the rag and then just give this a wipe down. And I'll do the whole oven. Ooh, it says, I'm a little princess on this side. Same on this side. All 
All right, so we're almost set. Now, all the pieces for every oven we've ever done, we put in bag and have them ready. So I could just take them out. These are very clean, but I will clean them again before I start the video. So this is what normally would come with the oven. So what I would do is I would just set it up for you and then and then also the instruction book which I've got to get all right so I've got that and then this is kind of like how I would start the video sometimes I lay the stuff out like that and then right there is when I come back after it's all been cleaned the bulb has been checked and I'd start like this. All right, so we are back. Everything in the oven has been cleaned and prepped and ready to show you in the video. So this is what it looks like. And this is how I would continue through the process of the video. So that's where I'm at right now. So this is all the stuff that came with this oven. The two baking pans, which we don't need right now. And then our two utensils and your pan pusher. And all these pan pushers have an arrow for the distance on where it's supposed to stop to get it into the oven part. And of course, the instruction booklet. But let's take a closer look at the oven. Now this one has the warming tray on top with two warming dishes. And as I pointed out earlier, you see I'm a little princess here, and then I'm a little princess here, and then look at the front. So you'll have your Disney princesses on the front, which is pretty nice. Compared to what you saw in the front of the box, um, it's nice. So let me plug it in. And it's on. See? Working great. So now what I need to do next is show you the mix. And I'm pretty excited about that because it ties right into this Disney Princess oven. So we'll do that next. All right. Well, there it is. This is what I was so excited about. Finally to get this set that matches perfectly with our Disney Princess oven. It is the decorating wand set. And it comes with this special wand. Watch that lights up and makes sounds, and then the two fairies and their dresses are filled with sprinkles just like the wand. There's the spatula and a special cake pan that makes a star shaped. So that's what I'm gonna actually make today, a star shaped cake. And then here's just some more information and everything that comes in the box. What I need to do now is actually just take this set out, let's take a look at it and we'll get started. Okay, so here's everything that comes in the wand set. So you get the spatula and look at it, it's got stars on the handle. Nicely designed there. You get the pan, which is a star shaped. And then the, the mixes and the sprinkles. So we'll need all that in a minute. Let's take a look at the two fairies that you get. Now their bottoms have a little dial on them where you can turn that you're actually gonna turn to sprinkle or fill, see that? And you can also take the backs off, okay? And then take out the little cardboard insert. I'm gonna keep that. So I kind of have to wash everything and get it ready. I haven't done that yet. So let's take this one out. Okay, and the wand is also neat that it comes in two sections. So those can be washed. And then this one slides off the back. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like from the front. And then the back comes off because this is your storage for your sprinkles. You turn this and then you can get into this here. Wash that out, put your sprinkles in there, and you are good to go. There's also a dial here, okay, that you control to adjust how the sprinkles come out or fill. And it just slides right back in. Pretty cool set. And it goes perfectly with our oven. So now when I come back, we're going to start making the cake. All right, I said this would be a special video. It's because this is a step of the process that you never actually see. But a lot of people wonder, do you even wash everything? And yes. Every time I make a video, all the parts go through this process. Now, some of the parts that we that I showed you earlier, I don't need, so I'm not going to wash them like the, the bins and stuff, but I'll need this pan. And I always like to use the soft side of the sponge, because even on these Easy Bake pans, they will scratch. And I just go part by part, cleaning them, super hot water. But they're not really technically dirty because they've been stored in nice plastic cases. 
But, you know, a quick little soapy bath never hurt. And that's really it. So now that you've seen that for the first time, it's time now to actually start making the mix. So let's do that next. All right, everything is washed and ready. And step one, of course, is to get the pan ready. And what I do is I just take a little lump of butter. I don't like using the sprays all the time. I just like using real butter. And make sure you get in all the little crevices there and the sides so your cake doesn't stick to the sides either. That's a neat pan. Okay, so that's set. And then you're gonna put your cake mix in your bowl and then it says crush it up you know get all the lumps out it's a yellow cake mix now i was looking at the picture in the recipe booklet and they only show a one layer cake not a two layer cake like on the box all right so let's break this up and then it says add one and a half teaspoons of water to and stir to form better okay form better yeah, form batter. I would say that's pretty good. Not that many big lumps in there. Okay, let's see. One teaspoon. And then a half a teaspoon. we go. That's pretty easy, huh? And I'm using the spatula they gave with the set just so that I can, you know, use my tools. Sometimes I'll use wood spoons or other tools that I have, but I figure why not use this one? I only say that because some people say that's not for mixing. Well, it is today. All right, pour them, okay, pour them, spread it, okay, in the pan, spread it evenly, and then put in the oven. And it says bake for 12 minutes, so let me get this in the pan now. Looks pretty good, huh? Some little lumps in there, but you know, can't avoid it now. Here we go. Let me scrape this out here. Do it over here. I think we got it pretty good. Oh wait, before I put it in the oven, I better give it its magical wand. Make a beautiful cake. Make a beautiful cake. All right, so when I come back, we'll put that in the oven. I'll probably just Tap it down a little bit. Be right back. All right, I am all set. Now it goes in the oven. Now remember, you just go up to the line there. You'll hear the door drop down like that. And we are good to go. So I'll set my timer and we'll come back when it's done. All right, well, I thought while that was baking, it's really hard to see in there in these particular ovens. I would get my sprinklers ready, the two fairies and the wand. So let me do the, well, let me do the fairies first. Because they only give you two colors for this, so let's do this one here with the pink. So remember, you just open this, okay, and then let me see, pink crystals. I'll do it over this little bowl here. And it just says basically to pour some in the one half and then close it back up. So here we go. Ooh, let's do it this way so you can see it better. I'll put them all in, just some. You know, they also say that because you have two size holes here on the bottom, there's a big sprinkle. So if you want to put a different kind of sprinkle in these, you can. And if you have a little type of powder, you can use that too. So let me set it so that nothing comes out. There's my first one. Now let's get this one in here. We'll put purple in her. 
And I think for the wand, I'll just put all the extra stuff inside. All right, so purple sugar crystals. I guess you could put as much as you want in there. I'm just kind of regulating it so I have enough for my wand. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that one's set. Ooh, look at that. So now I'll set this to make sure nothing comes out. She's ready. Now we'll do the back of the wand. And I'm just going to put the rest in there. This one also has different size openings. Ooh, I'll mix it all up. Purple and some pink. Look at that. Okay, so lock that in there. This goes here. Twist this on. And then you set it to the size. Now, they're too big for the little holes. That'd probably be for sugar. So I'm going to set that to the big one here. And just see, as I practice my sprinkling. Here we go. Ooh, that's going to work good. All right, so soon enough, the, uh, the cake will be out of the oven, and we'll check it out. All right, all set to come out of the oven. Let's push it through here so you can see it. I say we give it one more little sprinkle from our wand. All right, just to make sure everything came out great. Let's take a look. So there you go. Actually, looks like it came out nice. It's brown around the edges. So what I'll do is I'll come back and make the frosting while this cools down. All right, it is frosting time and... Uh... I don't think I'm going to actually layer this cake because it is so thin. I don't think it's, uh, I think what they really wanted you to do is have a second mixer, make a second cake, and then it'd be a lot easier to layer. So let's get the frosting ready. And it's really just putting in, ooh, look at that. It's so white. It's a white frosting and one, ooh, let me see, half a teaspoon of water. There we go. Let me just make a quick change here. And it says if you do want a thinner frosting, you can add more water. So let's just see how this turns out. There's always like a turning point with the frosting when it really just changes. Alright, I think I'm going to put a few more drops in, just because it's nice, but I think I want it a little bit softer. Look at it. What do you think? Just a little bit. Not a lot. Drops. Okay. Alright, my frosting is ready. So, I'm going to be right back and we'll get the cake out and we'll start decorating. I'll be right back. All right, almost set, but I think one more dusting here before we do the decorating, because you know, that's what I struggle with the most. There, a triple dose. Let's get this out of the pan now, and hopefully it comes right out. So I will just go along the edges and kind of, you know, test and give it a little push as I move around the edge, but I want to break up all the cooked bits here. It's a little darker on the edge. You know, at some point you'll just feel it and say it just wants to release itself from the pan. Okay, and this is not the point. Just keep going around. It's hard to take your time too, but you really have to take your time. See that? Just kind of slowly working. And hopefully it's not a big lump stuck at the bottom, but we'll see. There we go. It has come out, and it looks pretty good. Let's look at the bottom. Nice and golden brown. Okay, let's get that out of there. All right, decorating now. So the frosting. I'm just going to lump it on and spread it around. I was thinking originally it'd be a two-layer, like they give you two cake mixes, but there's no way to really cut this and make it worthy of two layers. And the moment we've all been waiting for is the sprinkles. And this is how they show it on the cover, kind of edged a little. 
and the shape of the star. There you go. All right. So it's sprinkle time. Here we go. And they're still frosting. So what do I want to do first? Well, let me try one of my little fairies here. I'm going to go just a little bit so it's not open all the way. So just a little bit comes out. Here we go. Okay, you'll do half with her. Those are cool. And then we'll do half in pink. So I'm just setting the dial to about there. So just a little comes out. Sprinkle with a little fairy sparkle dust. How's that looking? And I have to do the big one just once. Let's see, we'll set it partial right there. Here we go. Ah, nice. I'll just put it around the plate too. All right, there it is, I did it. Let me clean up everything here, come back, and we'll just take a nice look at it and taste it. All right, here we go, time for a taste. So I've got a little fork here, and I'm just gonna cut off a piece of my cake. Mmm, look at that. Looks tasty to me. Smells good. I think it might need a few more sprinkles. Let me let me add some on while I'm here. Okay, can never have too many sprinkles. Mmm, tasty. Good. I like the vanilla frosting, and you hear all the crispy sprinkles. So what do you think about that set? And my Sprinkle Fairies and Sprinkle Wand with the Disney Princess Easy Bake Oven. I hope you enjoyed it. I had fun making it. And again, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, look in the description for a playlist. Or as always, search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.